Hello and welcome to Maths with Jacob. This lesson will focus on HCF worksheets. So this video here will give you practice because there are some exercises on the topic of the highest common factor and it'll give you some good practice for this topic. Question 1. Find the highest common factor of 16 and 24. If you remember from the lesson on this topic, HCF is short for highest common factor. So it's the highest number that divides into both of those two numbers there. And it's the same for each question. So it's the same idea for each question. Question 2. Find the HCF of 8, 12 and 16. Now here we have three numbers. So remember, the HCF is the highest number that divides evenly into two or more numbers. So for each of these questions, we have three numbers. Question 3. Find the HCF of 8, 12, 16 and 20. Now you can see here that we have four numbers for each question. So it's a little bit more challenging, but the idea is exactly the same. So you have to find the HCF, the highest common factor, for each of those questions, and each question has four numbers. Now as I mentioned in the lesson that we had on this, I have some problems here and this shows you how to apply the highest common factor, the idea of the highest common factor, to an everyday problem. Let's look at this one. Ben has 16 lollies, 20 pens, 32 rulers and 40 erasers. He wants to give the same number of each item to his friends and he wants to give everything away. What is the largest number of friends that can benefit from Ben's generosity and how many of each item will each person receive? So there's a very, very good question and we employ the idea of highest common factor to solve this. Now if you have any difficulty with this, just refer to the lesson on highest common factor. Question 5. Sue has 20 pens, 24 socks, 36 stickers and 48 pencils. She wants to give the same number of each item to her friends and she wants to give everything away. What is the largest number of friends that can benefit from Sue's generosity and how many of each item will each person receive? This is exactly the same idea and we solve it using the notion of the highest common factor. So this worksheet has given us a number of questions, these two worksheets here, where we practice using highest common factor. It helps us to understand what the meaning of highest common factor is and importantly we've seen two problems here everyday problems and we use the idea of the highest common factor to solve these problems.